Welcome to The Conspiracy Files. I'm Sam. And I'm Stacy. Together, we're exploring the mysteries that history can't explain. And the secrets the world forgot to tell. From chilling encounters to mind-bending conspiracies, we're here to uncover the truth. Or at least get spooked trying. So strap yourselves in, because today we are diving headfirst into one of the most fascinating and mind-boggling rabbit holes in conspiracy history. Yeah, we're talking Al Bielek. A man who claimed to be not just a witness. No, no, not just a witness. Right, but an actual participant in a top secret government experiment so wild, it sounds like it was ripped from the pages of a science fiction novel. It really does, and this is one of those stories that seems to grab people whether they're into conspiracy theories yeah, science fiction, all of it. It's that perfect blend. Totally. It's like somebody took the Philadelphia experiment, threw in a dash of Stranger Things. Yeah, a little bit of Men in Black in there too. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then crank the dial to 11. Exactly, and that's why we're here today, to try to untangle this incredible tale and explore the depths of Bielik's extraordinary claims. Yeah, so let's start at the beginning with the event that supposedly kickstarted it all. Yeah, the Philadelphia experiment. Okay, so picture this. It's 1943. World War II is raging and the U.S. Navy is desperate for any advantage they can get over the Axis powers. Enter a top secret project shrouded in mystery. Yeah. Aimed at rendering a warship, the USS Eldridge, invisible to enemy radar. This is where it all begins. Right, and according to Bielik, they were using this really cutting edge technology based on the theories of Nikola Tesla and even Albert Einstein himself. Okay, so we're messing around with invisibility already? Yeah, this is getting into some pretty out there territory. It is, but did it work? Well, that's the big question. Yeah. And according to Bielik, the experiment went way beyond just disappearing from radar. Really? Uh Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Sammy A Reviews. And today, we're just going to do a quick walkthrough on the workflow to create this AI-generated video podcast. And what I've got here is my workflow. I've done a tutorial, several actually, on this channel. Uh, but today, we're going to cover just some additional steps on how to generate completely new voice characters uh, different from the ones that come with notebook lm i'm going to show you what the workflow and where how i did that and a few uh, tips and tricks to get it to sound different so what we're going to do is we're going to go through this workflow here step by step and kind of show you how i how i made the the previous uh podcast and we're might going to show a few uh, other demos uh, and examples of what's possible out there. So let's uh, go through these uh, step by step. So the first thing we're going to do is go to audio overview. Uh, excuse me, go to Google and um, LM. And um, I actually um, got the source material from YouTube, a YouTube video. So I was able to upload that and. Uh, Notebook LM uh, over does like a deep dive into it. It kind of highlights uh, what the scope and the video is about. And with the audio overview here, it generates the basically the podcast version. So what I like to do though is because you don't really have a lot of control or input in the uh, making or even some of the um, changes that you would like to make in the podcast itself. What I do first is after I download the uh, audio overview, what I do is I go to speaker split and uh, which which separates the audio into the different characters, the male and the female, and it uh, out, uh, outputs two separate audio tracks. But what I also like is this transcript here. So what I do is I, I turn the notebook lm podcast into a transcript so what i do is i download that so um, you can download it or you could just copy and paste it and what i do is i bring it into my editor here which this is just the google docs editor and what i did is uh, this section that's highlighted in blue is the part where i added a different intro because um, sometimes Notebook LM, it does the very uh, typical, uh, hey, this is a deep dive intro, da, da, da. So I didn't want it to have that generic intro that Notebook LM does. So what I did is I rewrote 
the intro with for the different speakers. Now, um, if you look here, it says speaker A and speaker B on the original transcript. And over here, it says speaker one and two. Um, the reason I do that is because I'm going to um, copy and paste this transcript into another app, which is going to remix the vocals. So um, I did another tutorial. I did the one pre previous on on how this step, you know, why you have to do it this way. But it's super easy. You can watch the last tutorial that I just did, and uh, it it shows you how to format your transcript. So. But this section here that I highlighted in blue is what I added. And there was a few other corrections and, you know, a little bit of um, typographical stuff and maybe some spelling uh, errors or whatever. Uh, or maybe some lines that I changed uh, in the transcript. So once I got it perfectly the way I wanted, um, what I did is I then um, copy and pasted the, this transcript into play.ai. And... I already did a tutorial on how to use this, so go back and watch that one on the previous one also. But what I did is I went ahead into the play note, which is up here. Uh, once you're signed in and you know registered and everything, go to, to the play note uh, app and copy and paste the transcript that you just did. And what you can do then is you can change the voice. They have tons of different voice actors you could choose from. Um, dozens and dozens and you can actually create your own voice too. yeah create you can pick your voice characters here and then at the bottom here where it says uh, give me one second uh, where it says create make sure you could select this on public or private uh, I do it on private and then you hit create so once you hit create it'll go ahead and um, basically use this script that you uploaded this transcript and it'll create a natural sounding conversation podcast um, similar to the notebook LM version but with um, just the new voice characters so it'll sound um, totally different and what I like about play.ai is that it has a natural sounding conversational output it's not just replacing the audio it's not just reading the uh, transcript it's making it sound fluid and natural like a conversation um, so what I'm gonna do is play how it sounds for you right here hold on one second come to the conspiracy files I'm Sam and I'm Stacy Together, we're exploring the mysteries that history can't explain. And the secrets the world forgot to tell. From chilling encounters to mind-bending conspiracies, we're here to uncover the truth. Or at least get spooked trying. So strap yourselves in, because today we are diving headfirst into one of the most fascinating... All right, so that's what it sounds like. Again, very professional, very natural sounding conversation doesn't sound robotic and it doesn't in my opinion it sounds better than 11 labs uh, version because it has a lot more fluid conversational style so what then we did is I downloaded uh, you go down here um, this this icon right here you click that and it'll download the totally rem remixed podcast okay then the next step if you go back to the workflow um, we um, remixed the podcast using play.ai created a play note with it now what we do is we'll take that go back to speaker split and run that uh, new podcast so we would uh, re-upload the podcast uh, that we just created uh, process the audio and then the new the new separated audio files we're going to download these and import them into Hedra okay so once they're in Hedra you would go ahead and upload your uh, separated audio files uh, each one one for each speaker and you can use the editor up here to clip the the ones you want or you can use uh, a third-party um, clip audio clip editor to import here and then use your animated AI characters so again, I'm kind of uh, skipping over this part because I've done other tutorials about how to use Hedra 
and also how to uh, clip the audio files. But this is just to show you what order of steps that we go through. So once you've got all your clips ready here, then what you want to do is import them into your CapCut or whatever video editor you're using. And for uh, this style, I've done, I've showed other styles before where I had the two AI hosts speaking at the same time, um, you know, uh, where it's not A and B, where they're both at the same time. But here's an example of one that's where they're both kind of alternating, okay? Welcome to The Conspiracy Files. I'm Sam. And I'm Stacy. Together we're exploring the mysteries that history can't explain. And the secrets the world forgot to tell. From chilling encounters to mind-bending conspiracies, we're here to uncover the truth. Or at least get spooked. Alright, and that was basically a brief tutorial, a quick walkthrough on from the beginning to the end on how we were able to create that um, AI video podcast and again uh, with this method you you just basically uh, would import both of your uh, your AI avatars their their speaking parts uh, that you um, co compiled from Hedra and obviously if yours is going to be longer say 15 20 minutes long you would just have more video uh, files to stitch together uh, what I would recommend is to import uh, all of your video files uh, and stitch them together and then go back and make your cuts, your uh, A-B cuts, so that it goes from like one uh, camera to the second camera and then back and forth between the different speakers just like that is. Um, so basically you you would um your bottom layer would be like say your speaker one you wouldn't have to do any cuts on that um file because this one's just overlapping it so basically you would just cut out the parts and what i mean by cut out the part is like take for instance this top part right here hold on one second well Right. So, if I were to play that, files. I'm Sam, and I'm Stacy. Together, we're exploring the mystery. See how that's covered up. So, what I would do is just this top part. I would just trim that part down, and you don't need to trim the bottom one because anytime the top one is playing, it's just going to cover over the the bottom one. So you don't have to trim anything on the bottom one. So I hope that makes sense. Basically. Since you only have two speakers, your your uh, main speaker or your A speaker or whatever goes on the bottom track when you're doing video editing, and then the top one is going to be your B, uh, and it creates that back and forth or camera one, camera two angle just by cutting it that way, but you only need to make the cuts on the top one. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, it's super easy and to follow Yeah, right here. Uh, you can definitely go back and check it out. And yeah, drop your comments if you have any questions. Uh, definitely go back and check some of the earlier tutorials that go more into a um, detail about each one of these steps. But this is also just a different uh, way of editing and also how to regenerate the audio, uh, basically remixing the audio from Notebook LM using Playnote, um, Play.ai's Playnote um, audio features. And like I said, I think that Play Notes audio features are a lot uh, smoother and more better for conversational, like for a podcast, than Eleven Labs. So this is like my preferred method for remixing uh, Notebook LM audio files. All right, thanks, guys. Take care.